Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. <clears throat> Excuse me, my name of course is Laggy, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as that the German Reich in Hearts of Iron 4. This is hopefully the second to last episode of this campaign, but let's continue moving on, kicking the Japanese out of China. That will be great, and then also invade Japan within this episode, and of course after this episode, I will rearrange the world to be in a more perfect world order. Now, someone said, I should give more territory to my allies. You know what? I probably will. I will honestly probably give, Sp oh my goodness, Spain a bunch of territory. Maybe probably Southeast Asia, a lot of the these stupid islands around here. I'll probably release Australia and New Zealand into one country, Australasia. Um, just to be like a Reichskommissariat. Uh, I would chunk up China to be um, several different puppets. I will release a... Muslim majority population group that was that'll combine Afghanistan and modern day Pakistan. Of course, you have India. Uh, so I've thought about Spain. We'll give them a lot of territory. Hmm. I really don't want my puppets to have too much power. I will give Japan probably to the United States. I mean, Confederated States. Confederated States. Yeah, Confederated States of America. Probably give them to Japan just so that they can. Have some say about what happens to spend the persecution. Oh, wait. Okay. Less stability, huh? Alright then. Alright. Reach out to the wear group. Union representation. Desegregation for armed services. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. What happened to this thing? We lost a destroyer. And two planes. All... Wow. That carrier's really been hit hard. All in exchange for three carriers... A heavy cruiser, four light cruisers, and five destroyers. My goodness. If that ain't great, I don't know what is. Uh, you guys are doing alright. Let's go ahead and try to invade. God, I hope this works. Let's see. Are you guys ready to go? My marines are good to go. As well as the tankos. They are also good to go. Let's hopefully get somewhere. Cool. What else have we got down here? How much political power we get a day? We could probably do a little bit more. Do that in general government. And Reichskommissariat Norwegen. Norwegian. Uh, repair the Suez Canal. Huh. Also, Italy. I will go to war with Italy in the next episode, probably. Just because, like I said before, I do want Sud Tyrol. So that is definitely my goal. My goal. Oh, baby, what happened here? A destroyer was sunk. Great. Alright. Oh, we have encountered some resistance. I'm going to give my Marines some extra boost. Because if we can take a port, that would be great. Let's see, airplanes, we are doing some damage, we're disrupting them a little bit, but we are getting scattered or shot down a little bit as well. Ooh, baby. Home islands, good. Add in 200 more something here. Something. Something. Cluster support. Naval bombers. I want more tactical bombers. Here, add 200 more of these guys. Boom, 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 and do that. Focus only on that. This one will focus only on that. And do the home islands. Oh, baby, we've got some more uh, Coast Guard divisions. Great. Great, great, great. Uh, let's see. Oh, we are winning over here. It looks like a lot of our tanks can't really go over... Oh, hold on. Hold on here. We have begun the invasion. We have landed here in... In Japan. Good lord, I hope we don't take too many casualties. But if we do... I'm going to blame someone else. Probably the Japanese for that. Uh, Marines. You guys are moving in as well. That's good. The tanks are around here. The Japanese fleet is somewhere around here as well. Our, one of our tank... Two of our tank divisions have landed. Go ahead and push those guys out. Go ahead and push these guys out as well. Uh, good. Good. It looks like we're winning. We lost a plane. Oh, boy. One of our ships got really hit hard. Oh, we lost a battleship. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Well, this looks like to be the main Japanese fleet. We lost two... Two battleships. Holy oh, smoke, arenos. We lost a battle cruiser, a light cruiser, four destroyers, and a heavy cruiser. But we sunk, honestly, not that much in comparison. Wowzers. Uh, this is part of the second patrol fleet I have, which is fine. We do have a ton of extra things in reserve. Oh, but in exchange, we did sink four enemy carriers, a light cruiser, and two destroyers. So, you know, I guess it could be worse, but it could definitely be better. Yeah, keep sinking their crap. Keep pulling in more ships. Nice. We sunk an enemy battleship. 
And I guess that is considered a victory when we lost two battleships, two heavy cruisers. Wow, we lost a lot of capital ships. Holy cow. We sunk 13 destroyers, another carrier, a battleship, and a light cruiser. Wowzers. A lot of the enemy ships did get... Ma did manage to get away, though, unfortunately. Go ahead, do that. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. Come here. Push, 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 push. Uh, send you. Come down here. And do that. That would be great. Oh, baby. We've got some more fighting going on. Some more fighting. What's going on around here? Oh, we landed. That's great. We sunk three more enemy carriers. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. Uh, you guys, go ahead, just like all land here. We're still holding strong in Japan here. Five divisions. Take half of you and push this way. Great. These guys are getting cut off. That's good. Here, though, go ahead. Make uh, some more ports. I think that'd be for the best. Oh, we actually took an airbase, too. That's actually pretty awesome. Actually, very awesome. So we invaded two different areas. Awesome. We sunk an acoustic mine. No, we sunk a light cruiser. And what else? Naval bombers mate. Mine Lang. This is actually really cool the way they have the tail underneath. That's really cool. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Uh, let's see what happened here. Another carrier. Jesus Christ, my boys. And girls. If there's any girls watching. Uh, let's see. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'll probably give Spain a lot of these islands. Southeast Asia, I might give to Spain as well. I'm not going to give very much to Italy, though. Maybe I'll give them a little bit. Hmm, we'll see what happens. I think all of Southeast Asia should go to someone. Good, good, good. America will definitely get compensated for the work here. And I left three divisions to defend against everyone else. Okay, maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. Whatever. Send half of you guys like over to here. That'd be cool. Anti-air upgrades... What is this? Awesome, we'll do that as well. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my goodness, we lost eight screens. Holy crap. That's really not good. Yeah, our navy's getting beat up. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of expected since Japan did start this war with, like, 800 ships. And now they've less than 100. Holy cow. Wowzers. Wowzers for the Bowsers. All right, let's see. Yeah, a lot of these guys have been... Injured. See, we got one, four. So we would need eight. So this one, this group, this four group, needs at least one other capital ship to be more succinct. So I'm going to actually take a heavy cruiser and I'm going to add, go ahead, add light cruiser and two destroyers to this guy. I think it was this group. Yep. And you. Go ahead and merge and combine. Docked. That's fine. Go ahead. And once we're out of battle, I can go ahead and merge them. Because this one's... Oh, we're going to lose a battleship. Oh, no. Come on, get out of combat. Oh, God, we're going to lose that battleship, aren't we? That's really not good. Good, go ahead and merge. Oh, we did not lose it. That was really close. This battleship has 6% strength. It is almost completely destroyed. Oh, my goodness. We lost four... Allied subs in exchange for a couple ships. Cool. Our Navy is here as well as the Italian Navy. Great. And we sunk a couple more Japanese screens. The Japanese fleet has been pretty much all but destroyed, which we've taken a ton of losses ourselves. Wow. Let's see. Screens. That's a capital ship. That's another capital ship. That group is fine. Three. Uh, that's one I just looked at. Nine. That's not... Uh, the screen efficiency for this isn't great, but it's not terrible. Let's see, got a heavy cruiser. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good still. You guys, you're fine. Ca uh, yeah, I don't feel comfortable with this one, especially if they have a carrier in here. Uh, let's see, this is group eight. This has eight ships in it currently. Let's add in that. Eight, there you go, and there you go. Two, oh my god, two ships. Oh, okay, let's see. So you got five screens, six, seven screens. You need a destroyer and then two capital ships. A destroyer, and I'll give you one of these as well. Awesome. And that was which group? Was it this group, I think? 
Go ahead and merge over there. Two more ships. Oh, we have a capital ship already. And cool. And then follow it up with this last group who has, oh my gosh. You need five screens and one more capital ship. Five screens and one more. Now let's give them a battleship and let's see, five screens. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Got to make sure your navy's okay, especially if we're going to fight against the Italian navy eventually. Yeah, we got a lot of backup ships around here. Let's see, what is this? Subs? Come over here. Go ahead, take this off, and go ahead and put yourselves over here. Put that on a void. That'll be great. Uh, I've been completely ignoring the land battles. Nice. Not, that's not bad. Uh, we've just driven straight across. That might have been a little bit too much. These guys will probably get encircled and potentially destroyed. Uh, awesome. Actually, I want one of you guys to go this way as well. That's fine. That's fine. 95 days left for fuel. We sunk a couple more convoys. Awesome. This is looking great, great, great. Just get down to here or something. Can I annex anyone else? No. And that's okay. And our guys are doing well. Our marines are holding strong. These are basically here just to be a distraction, pretty much. And these guys are pretty thick. Thick marines. Thick German marines. So I'm going to suppose they actually probably do pretty okay here. Hopefully. God, if they lose, I'm going to be... I'm not going to rage. I'm just going to be disappointed. But so don't lose. So don't freaking lose. Nice. Sub was sunk. Oh, it looks like our allies, our Italian allies, are trying to invade this area. Taiwan. Uh, go ahead and move in there, help them out. And they're all, they all died. Tanks are looking not too bad. Not too shabby. Go ahead, mopping everything else up. Oh, goodness, that's... This might not have been a good idea to put all my tanks here. But it's always a good idea to put tanks everywhere, right? Let's see, Marines. Wilhelm List, you're becoming a very good... General, we sunk a battleship. Great stuff. Another convoy. And it looks like the Italians are doing very well. Excuse me. Yeah, maybe I'll give Spain all these islands, but I'll give, like, Italy, Southeast Asia. Hmm. That might be interesting. It might be very interesting to do that. Go ahead and do that. Oh, baby. Do we lose something? Oh, no. Oh, no. We, lo we lost a carrier? Holy smoke. Reno's, they, the Japanese still have one last mighty navy. Here, but or you know, fleet, naval fleet that we got to smash. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I lost a freaking carrier. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see, my king fleet. You're over here. I need someone in the East China Sea. Uh, where's my other pa king patrols? Decked in Kenya. I want you to come to here. But really. Why don't you come here? Because I don't think you have any other orders to be anywhere else. And we lost a couple more screens. God dang it. Uh, let's see. Too far away. It's fine. Let's see what's happened. Now I sunk a ship. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to put maybe a few more of these on. Qingdao, that's a good one to do. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. naval bases, uh, dockyards for building new ships. Do that just in case. That'll be good. We're still getting attacked. You guys are getting a little bit tired. I want you to go when you can. If you can. Maybe you can't. Because there are a lot of divisions around here. That's really not too good for us. Oh, baby, they are really just walloping our soldiers over here. Japan, Japan, Japan. You've already lost over 11 million soldiers. How much more manpower do you have to send at me? A lot more, apparently. Go ahead. Keep holding. Keep holding. That's fine. Get my Coast Guards in there, too. That might actually help as well. But not up here. Hmm. How about all but one come over here? Can we smash through here? If we can, we cut off quite a few divisions. Oh, goodness. Oh, we lost eh, a couple of screens, but, you know. Alright, where are you guys? You still moving? Still moving? Alright, guys, come on. Come on. 
just don't give them an inch. The Japanese will falter. And it looks like up north we have done a small but cheeky encirclement. Send two this way. And send one more this way. Oh, never mind. Never mind. They all died. Great. Actually, uh, can I get something other than tanks? Great. I love it. And you know what, actually? Let's improve this infrastructure and actually add another port over here. Oh, actually, we are running out of things here. Am I getting more fuel or something? No? Hmm. Could use more civilian factories. Yeah. Hmm. Thought I had more civilian factories than that. I have 634. Oh my goodness, what happened here? The loss of two battleships, a, he a heavy cruiser, and a destroyer in exchange for three heavy cruisers, four lights, uh, cruiser, light cruisers, 11 destroyers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like a carrier. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not too bad then. Strike force. Yeah, you're the one who lost something probably. Junkers, that's cool. Do that, whatever. Just blow up the Japanese fleet. We lost two light cruisers in exchange for Japanese carrier. Honestly, we're, we're taking some casualties, some losses, but the Japanese only have 22 ships left, so... Yeah. I'm just a little bit worried about my Marines here, because they are getting tired out. They're getting very tired out at this point. But our tanks, though, they're doing okay. And you know what? We'll probably push with the tanks if we can. Crush the Japanese forces up north, as our Marines are desperately holding out against all sorts of enemy attacks. Oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Please, no more Banzai. Your soldiers can't do any more Banzai. My guys, they can probably withstand a couple more attacks, especially if they get more resources, but Jesus. Oh, we lost the plane, that's fine. I mean, we can take a lot of casualties, but the Japanese definitely cannot. It's kind of like, I'm thinking of this as the American Civil War, where Ulysses S. Grant knew that the South, he could not take, the South could not take a ton of casualties, yet he himself, his armies, Ulysses S. Grant, and the North knew he could take a boatload of casualties. He knew he could basically bleed the South dry, eventually, by like 1840. 1864, 1865, and that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm doing right now with my navy. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice maybe a few ships. Uh, wait, where are you going? Moving to naval base? No, 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 no. Move to Hong Kong. There you go. And actually, I want to add in one more battleship to you. One more battleship or something. Uh, maybe a carrier too. Let's just add in a carrier and a battle. Two battle cruisers and then a couple more destroyers. Put them on here. Make yourself nice and strong. That'll be great. Our tanks are doing a great job moving, strolling on, straight on through uh, that place called Japan. Very cool. Very, very cool. And let's see what happens. Go ahead and take Tokyo if you can. Uh, the Marines have done a great job. They were merely a distraction against the enemy. Uh, let's see. Cool, I've got four divisions here, including one Coast Guard division. God, I can't click on the Marines. Nice. These guys are doing a great job just holding out, despite all the repeated attacks. Oh, baby. A single division to attack Tokyo? Why can't we take, why can't we take it? What the heck? Nothing says an attack like attacking Tokyo. Cool. Go ahead and hold so you don't lose the front line. Tokyo's gone, and the Japanese are more than halfway to capitulation. They've suffered over 14 million casualties, while I've suffered a little over 3 million. Not bad stats. We have linked up with the Marines. We have relieved the Marines of constant barrages of attacks. And my coffee is probably getting a little lukewarm now. Nope, I was wrong. It's still pretty warm. Still pretty warm. Wouldn't call it hot, but still pretty warm. Nice, our guys have made it down here. Awesome. Starving Japanese soldiers. Great. We've pushed the Japanese completely out of Asia. Mainland Asia. Pretty much. And time for the tanks. Actually, all of you guys. Uh, I have other needs for you guys. So, uh, yeah. You might know what's coming up. Oh, another tank division. Uh, sure. Sure, why not? 
Sounds great. Actually, how many ships does Italy have? They can't have a massive number. 76? That's not bad. Not great. Obviously, they did lose quite a bit, but that's okay. Who hasn't lost quite a few ships? I've lost quite a few capital ships myself. Uh, go ahead, and your capital is down there. I'll give you a couple days to... Okay, you're going anyways. Oh, alright. Sounds good to me. You just take all the ter... Okay, you never mind. You lost everything. Um, okay. Let's do that again. From the top, boys and girls. From the top. And we will crush as the Japanese. If we can. Yeah, I got it moving. Cool. The Marines, you did a great job. I was a little concerned about that, Marines. You know, just in case you weren't able to do what you needed to do. Very awesome. Very awesome. Come on. And... Anything yet? You get down there. Oh, okay. What this? Two centimeter. Cool. Come on. Come on, tanks. You've already launched yourself down here. Spreading yourself all around. The Japanese fleet has pretty much literally been all destroyed at this point. I mean, my god. We destroyed like 800 enemy Japanese ships. That's insane. That's a ton of ships. They got 18 left. Can you imagine destroying that many ships? Absolutely brutal. Okay, guys, you don't need to stop. I mean, the capital's right there. Odds are you'll probably win any engagement. Kagoshima. Come on. Nagasaki's right there, guys. Enemy ships. Uh, we sunk eight more convoys. Great. Oh, wait. Is Greece invading Ceylon? Huh. Interesting. Ah, yes. Not American in sight. And it is over with the Japanese. So, right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide up all this land, and I will give some territory to my allies, maybe except for Italy a little bit, but I'll probably give them some as well, but definitely I'll give the United States most of Japan, because it's probably easiest for us. And I'll be back in just a moment. Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me back here again. Um, still same episode, of course. It feels like I recorded the last part of this yeah, about 15 minutes ago, but regardless, this is the world as we know it. Obviously, this is still Europe, but let's take a good global look. So, I divided Asia, not all of Asia, but quite a bit of Asia up. Let's talk about that first. So, in my mind, I really wanted to form more Reichskommissariats. So, I decided to form the Caucus Authority, which actually sounds like a really good idea. So that, it kind of reminds me of the Don Kuban Union, under Peter Jones apparently, in Kaiserreich. So, that's why I kind of formed this here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is actually from the country of Georgia, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I wish I could actually add more Reichs Commissariats here, but if I do that, all I get was, like, you know, the Russian Empire or something instead of the Soviet Union, and then they would take all the territory, and I don't like that. Uh, kind of the same idea with Mongolia. Uh, I don't really care about releasing Mongolia. But, next up we have the Alash Orda, which is definitely a Kaiserreich-inspired uh, country here that I wanted to put in, just so that it can subjugate and c take control and administer the areas and the different types of cultures that are within Central Asia in this little portion. And same thing with Dictatorial Xinjiang. Um, it's technically, I guess, part of China, but they're like Chinese Muslims. Yes, I did put all of Tibet under that same area. But that's okay. This is called Minority minority China here, over here. Dictatorial Xinjiang, Minority China, same thing. Uh, yeah, just so that basically all these groups hopefully can sort of balance each other out if anything goes wrong. Also, the new Mughal Empire here. So I combined, so I released Pakistan, and obviously I took away Bangladesh, or whatever it was over here, East Bengal, and gave basically Pakistan, or the new Mughal Empire, Afghanistan, as well as this little portion up here, Stalinabad. Um, yeah, just so that it's mostly a Muslim-majority population, kind of like Alash Orda and Dictatorial Xinjiang, so they kind of you know, balance each other out. And then I have, of course, just my regular... German Raj over here. Uh, they want to rebel, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. Someone did say that I should give more territory to my allies. And I'm like, alright, that doesn't sound like a terrible idea. So, uh, this isn't part of what I was supposed to be doing. I'll just give this to the Raj. But, I gave Bulgaria Ceylon because, you know, they work very hard. And I gave territory to everyone who wasn't a puppet. So, basically, Bulgaria, Romania, and Hungary were not my puppets. So, I decided to give them all territory except for Hungary. Sorry, Hungary, but you already took Transylvania, 
Uh, I already gave you this little part of Vojvodina. Gave you Slovakia already. And there's really not too many more Hungarian lands except for what is part of Romania now. And I'm not going to, you know, subjugate Romania again. But Romania did get Hainan, uh, which is, you know, in China. Obviously, I gave National Spain Southeast Asia, the mainland part of Southeast Asia. I gave Italy a crap ton of islands around here, just so that they get a lot more fuel, maybe, with some more rubber. Also gave Spain the Philippines, because why not? That's historically theirs. I've released Australasia, called Central Australia, but they also have New Zealand as well. So, And I decided to split up this part of China, reorganized nationalist China, with the Chinese Empire, which was actually Communist China, up here, and then split up again with the Qing Chinese, because there are way too many people in China for me to successfully liberate them, yeah, liberate them under one centralized federal government that spoke to my authority. This is just easier to, to kind of decentralize power and make sure that their <coughs> liberation, <coughs> yeah, total liberation is, um, complete so that each country, each faction, each Reichskommissariat can manage its own without too much interference. And I did give some territory to America and its puppets. So basically I gave all of Japan, who is still under Hirohito, fascist still, or I guess the party idea the party is called Tai Sai Yoku Sankai, whatever. As well as Korea. I decided to give them Korea just because China is enough of a problem with me to deal with, especially with Central Asia as well, and then even, even close to Europe, or I guess that's technically part of Europe, but I decided to give Korea to the United States. Now, with that in mind, this is not the last episode. Also, the Americas, I just gave El Salvador to Nueva Gran Colombia. I gave them, I split up, you know, Venezuela and Peru between this and Inter Integralist Brazil, but, and that's pretty much it. Of course, I gave Italy this part of Africa. I gave my own Middle Africa a larger portion of our holdings before from Vichy France. And before we leave for today and break, I did give Greece a good chunk of former Greek territory back to them because the Turks decided to ally with the Japanese. So the Turks are dead people, basically. But now Greece can now settle over here once again, unless I completely annex them, which means actually there's one more thing we're going to do before we're fully done here. Someone wanted me to do this for a while, but I wasn't able to do that, and I still can't do that over here. So instead... We're going to straight up annex Vichy France. Boom. And it's going to lag. Lag, 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 lag. And it costs us 300 political power apparently. But we will have all of Vichy France under the German boot. Very cool. Very nice. Now we can definitely lay them around. In Western Europe. So with that in mind, guys, that is the end of this episode. This is the second last episode in the series. And tomorrow will be the last episode as we take out Italy. If you didn't know, I already have a lot of battle plans, a lot of lines around here. And we're going to kick them out of our faction. So that we can just take a tiny, pesky, small part of Sutero back into our country. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Tell me about how I did my uh, country building and world, new world order. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.